I really appreciate this. My Amazon packages were delivered to the site. We are in 46. We are in a Medina, KOA. It's between Buffalo and Rochester. So it's an hour that way to Rochester and an hour that way to Buffalo. So it's a very long site. You can actually fit two airstreams here. The site is leveled, didn't even have to level. We do have a patio. Now this is the only negative that I see in these parts. These are all the premium sites that they have right here. And it's right next to the dog park. So right now there's a breeze. When there is no breeze, you can actually smell the piss and poop from there. I don't like that. They could easily relocate this park down over there or way over there next to the laundry room. No reason for it to be right here next to their premium sites. 50 amps. Water in, water out. Water pressure is really good. There is not a tree anywhere near us. So the internet has been, well, Starlink has been working fabulously. And I do like the fact that the packages were delivered to the site. So would I stay in this park again? Yes. It is far from everything. We're out in the country. So make sure you bring groceries the nearest Walmart is about 30 miles away there is a grocery store in Medina which is four miles away but it's really really small they do have a lake or a pond that you can go fishing in kayaking in and seeing that this is Labor Day weekend there's a lot of people here today okay Again, I would stay at this park again. Today we are at Fort Stanwyck National Monument. It is here in Rome, New York. The troops stationed at Fort Stanwyck contributed directly to the American victory over the British at Saratoga during the American Revolution and aided in westward expansion through New York's gateway to the west. The fort was also a site of the treaties with the Iroquois in 1768. We know what happened to those treaties. They essentially reneged on all of them. All right, we'll go get our stamp and take a look at the fort. Right now we can see it from here. It's like a star fort. it's actually horrible someone stole their ink pad stamp <laughs> I've never heard of that absolutely ridiculous so what they're gonna do they gave me a self-enclosed stamped envelope had me sign my address or put my address down on the envelope and they will mail me one By the way, Fort Stanwyck does not have RV parking. So it's street parking only for rigs. So I'm parked in front of this church, which is two blocks away from the fort itself. Today we are at the Theodore Roosevelt inaugural National Historic Site. Theodore Roosevelt became the 26th president when William McKinley died of an assassination's bullet. Roosevelt's administration would expand the role of the United States in world affairs. His presidency was one of the most important in America's history. Today is September 2022, and as of today, 
you cannot tour the grounds without a reservation. So I do have a reservation today at 930. And if you have a national park pass, they do expect you to pay. General admission is $12, but if you have a national park pass, it is only a dollar. So make sure that you get a res make a reservation before you come here. Uh, it won't advance. Oh, it. okay. Yeah, a little more gentle. Yeah. Okay, looks like I was captain of industry. somebody else's house, I always look at the baseboards. Look at the baseboards. With them. What do you see? How many layers of wood? How high up on the wall do the baseboards go? Six. That's an indication of how fancy a house is. Because you may not know it, but air conditioning was invented in Buffalo, New York by a man named Willis Carrier in 1902. So, air conditioning. Now we have no pictures from 1901 to show what this all would have looked like when it was the private living quarters of the Wilcox family. Oh yeah, there it is, there's the Ukraine. Here there's a nuclear power plant there that's causing people to worry today. <laughs> now, I need a volunteer, someone to step forward and push one of the red flags. But unlike most Americans, Roosevelt believed we have the capacity to rise in our level of education and civilization. And he knew individuals among us could accept. Truth is, it now remains one of the stains on Theodore Roosevelt's legacy. Just saying. But now <coughs> you have reached the pinnacle of your visit. And it looks like we have ourselves our new president. <laughs> Please be seated. Okay. <laughs> now everyone.
Okay, we are at Niagara Falls State Park. Why this place is not a national park is questionable to me. Right, you've already seen the rapids. I'm gonna go find a viewpoint and look at the falls.